cannot believe my eyes look this good using a three dollar palette oh what is going on my boo it is your girl stacy Wu. welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a sweat proof summertime fun matte look i got some new elf products and i also got some other products that i want to show you guys how to achieve this look but if you want to see how to achieve this look so you won't have your foundation looking greasy and moppy and looking a hot mess make sure you guys keep on watching and for those that are new what is going on my boo welcome to the stacy Wu family you will be entertained so you might as well hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell button either because you do not want to miss my upcoming video Videos, okay so with that being said we're not gonna do too much writing and raving and I want to jump right into this look for y'all let's go all right guys real quick I need to put something on my lips because my lips is real dry and I do not want to be all dry talking to y'all with achieving this soft matte foundation look and your makeup not looking like a grease mop Cause that's basically what it be looking like okay me personally i've definitely learned that matte foundations and matte products period are good for complicated and also people who have oily skin so for my babies that have dry skin and your skin is just so dry you could do illuminating foundation and all that good stuff who cares we don't care okay and this ain't for you okay but you could keep on watching or whatever and just watch me you know what i'm saying so i've already put a serum on my skin and I use the Sunday Rally serum that I use on my skin all the time. So now we're gonna be doing some moisturizing and we're gonna be doing some priming. This is something new. I just got some new e.l.f. products so I'm gonna be sharing them with you really, really quick. I got the moisturizer from e.l.f. like I said and this is the 50 milligram CBD that helps soothe and reawaken the complexion. So we're gonna be definitely trying this and it has 50 milligrams of CBD so we gonna be <laughs> and a little bit of extra so we can feel a little good you know what I'm saying Damn. so we're gonna just be laying that all over the skin it really really feels good on the skin and also it does have a nice smell soothing calming smell to it it makes you feel very calm and chill so I did get a matte primer and the matte primer that I got is this one right here and this is the matte putty primer and we're just going to be laying it right over and I usually just do this on the areas that are the greasiest period like I'm gonna put this all over my face it feels really really good on the skin this has been my fave fave trick I actually got this from Jackie 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 okay and basically what it is it is a matte setting powder this setting powder is in the color deep I kind of like to get a setting powder that's in my skin tone so I usually take like a damp beauty blender just like this and just dab this right into my skin I noticed that when I do this my foundation when I tell you it do not crease it doesn't do any of those things. So I kind of really like put it all over my face. And so color correct, we're gonna just be jumping into the MAC color correcting and lay this down really, really good, just like that. And of course, you know what I like to do? I like to use those patent motions because honey, you wanna make sure you cover these dark circles, okay? We do not wanna be putting nothing on and you can see these circles. <laughs> That's not what it's hitting for, you know? I don't really blend under it. I just like to blend the edges. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So one of my fave matte foundations is the Fenty Beauty. And this is the Pro Filter Longwear Foundation. And this foundation is in, it's in the color 440. I only need like two pumps, pop, pop, pang, pang. And I like to just lay this all over my face just like that, you know. I don't really put a lot on my forehead, make sure I get my nose because honey, we definitely see that foundation not on your nose, okay? Get that foundation on your nose. Okay, now we're gonna be taking this new foundation brush that I got from Sigma and this is the Pratic brush. Stab that right all over the skin. Oh. I like it. One thing I will tell you guys how I apply my foundation. I don't swipe. I do pet, 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 pet motion. You know, just pat it in. You know what I mean? We not wiping nothing down. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. You know what I mean? Because I'm on. You know, we not, we not doing that. Yes. 
Okay, now really, really quick, guys, I'm going to be taking my MAC um, Studio Fix. Now, this is something that I always do, and I just take my foundation brush and I tap right over it. This is something that I do right after I put my foundation on. It really, really helps when I pat right over it. Cause I don't know if you see, but this side, you see like matte and then over here, you see like a little shine a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I do it. So we're gonna jump in really, really quick with the Dark Deep Mineral by MAC. And I'm gonna be rubbing this and then I'm gonna press that all over my skin as well. For highlighting, I did get this new 16 hour cameo e.l.f. and this is in the color Deep Caramel. But I'm going to start off with the uh, 16 hour cameo in the Deep Cinnamon and just put that right here under my eyelid. Drag it down a little bit. I drag it around as well. I did the eye first. And then just put a little bit on your chin. And then put some on your forehead, just like that, okay? I'm going to jump into the Deep Caramel. And I just like the latest over top. Just like that. And I just start off with blending the out part first, just like that, and then I go in. So I definitely want to tell you guys about yesterday, y'all. So yesterday, I'm not going to even lie. I was feeling like sad. I was feeling like bad. I don't know why I was feeling that way, but I was like definitely feeling that way, right? And so you ever had this time where though you be feeling like that and then you be noticing like I'm feeling all crazy and I don't really have no reason to be feeling crazy. Like I don't. I begin to pray and I realize that sometimes don't nothing be going on. Everything could be going right and you still could be having like a bad day. The enemy has its way of just messing with you. And I feel like, you know, we are on a spiritual warfare every single day. Uh, really, really quick, quick guys. I'm going to be setting my face with the uh, matte powder and this is in the color tan. But yeah, I just feel like sometimes, you know, the enemy could definitely, you know, mess with you. You know what I mean? He knows what God has for you. That's one. He knows that you're doing good and things are going good for you. You know what I'm saying? And that right there just showed me to really just see it for what it is and recognize it. And I recognized it and I'm glad that I did recognize it and keep it moving because sometimes you can't, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's too, it's too much. I mean, we all have bad days, but I mean, like I was really having like a bad day. Like it was really crazy. And I was like, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? Through the grace of God, I got through it and I prayed. So if you ever had one of those days, just pray and know that it's the enemy and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be using my Fenty cream and this is in the color chocolate. Dabbing that right in there just like this. I love the way this Fenty Beauty be doing me. <laughs> okay guys, so now since we have the lids down, I had got this cute little bite size eyeshadow from e.l.f. So these colors are really, really cute. I wanna see the payoff, so I'm excited to see, you know, the payoff with this. We're going to start off with this color right here and just basically build. This is a really pretty color. And I like that you can like build on it as well. It's like a burgundy brown color. So this is like a really cool neutral. It was only $3 and this is the Berry Bad if I didn't tell you guys what this is called. Okay guys, now we're gonna be jumping into this lighter color. And this is uh, the 518 brush. I like to use different brushes so my eyeshadow won't look muddy. Just blending that over top just to give it that seamless feel. I'm going to start off 
just went popping this purple one in the outer corner of my lid. I like that. That looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna try it on my other lid. Oh yeah. That looks really, really pretty. Oh yeah. Yeah. You see it. Next, we're gonna be jumping into that last one. This one right here. Rubbing my hand. And it's pretty pigmented. And we're gonna drag that over. I like using my finger. And wow, for $3, you can have it. You can have my $3. I'm about to get me another palette like this. Like, this is really cute. Yes, okay. All right, so now we're gonna just put this acid rain. I like to put this light acid rain in my waterline. I'm just gonna jump right back into this dark color and then just drag that. And for mascara, we're gonna be jumping into the Isla mascara. All right, now I have popped these lashes on. Now we gonna need to bronze up this face. And for uh, bronzing, I use the Mocha Mommy by Fenty Beauty. And it just bronzed my face in a way that, I don't know, it just makes me feel so good, you know? <gasps> bronze, baby. I had a little spot I wanted to fix right here real quick. Just seen a little error while I was bronzing. And now we're gonna go into highlight and for highlight I'm going to be using the Diamond Bomb and this is the Cognac Candy. Going you know, just like that. Yeah baby, yeah. And then I just take some and put some on the bottom of my nose. And then I would like to put it on the sides of my nose for some reason because when I go to the side, it kind of like hits it. We're going to be jumping into this matte lip and this is called Boo. Hey, Boo. <laughs> Shit girl, Stacy Woo. <laughs> it's like, no. And then we're just gonna take the Morphe lip and this is in the color Chill. And oh, wait, 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 we need blush. I mean, we can't do nothing without blush. This has been my fave, fave brush. This is the Sweet Cheeks by NYX. Oh my God, I really love this blush. And also remember, if you wanna layer your blush a little heavy, you actually can because I mean, it fades after a while anyway, you know? Now we're gonna do that final, you know, like that final blend, like you have to blend everything in, you know, like that seamless blend on everything. And I'm gonna go right back into that MAC and you just blend everything, everything in. Anything that's harsh, blend it in, you know, blend it in. Just like that, bow. So now I'm going to jump on my wig and then I'm gonna come right back. I just threw this wig on really, really quick just to give y'all this kind of like wavy, beachy, kind of big hair thing. I'm really, really loving this look. I'm really, really loving this mattifying face. You know what I'm saying? Because us oily girls and us complicated girls, we need this type of look, especially in the summertime. So if you guys love this look, make sure you do not forget to smash that like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's learn, let's grow. Let's get to know each other. Don't forget to hit that notification bell button either because you don't want to miss my upcoming videos. So with that being said, I love you guys. Make sure you guys definitely keep God first. You know what I'm saying? And I will see you, boo, in my next video. Mwah. Peace.